Hello friends, I am Sunil sir and I am back with a new video. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss about one of the most important topic with respect to NEET exam that is the tongue and the taste buds because this is one of the most confusing topic and it is not given clearly in all the NCRD book. In this video I will complete it in detail so that all NEET questions you can solve. First of all, the problem that student face is the difference between the papillae and the taste buds. They are always confused that is the papillae and the taste bud same? That is the first question. So they always ask to the teacher are they same? I give you the answer. No. Taste buds and papillae are not same at all. Whenever I use this word papillae, you need to understand papillae is nothing but it is the raised projections on the tongue. The raised projections on the tongue that you see is the papillae. And on the papillae what you are going to get is the taste bud. So it means one thing is very much clear that all the papillae will not have the taste buds. But on the entire tongue you are going to have the papillae present. So let's see the diagram. Let's take this to be the raised part which is acting as a papillae. And on the papillae, on the papillae what will be present is the taste bud. That is what we need to understand here. So this idea clears your problem with respect to taste buds and papillae. Remember all the papillae will not have taste buds taste buds can be present or even it can be absent but if taste buds are there papillae has to be there coming to the next important part how many types of papillae are there because in ncrd book things are given different here i will be covering all the types of papillae so that you understand very clearly about papillae very first we have something called as valate papillae Valet papillae is also known as circumvalate papillae. Second papillae that we have is foliate papillae. The third type of papillae is fungiform papillae. Just remember the name. So when based on the name, you can remember the shape also. So third is the fungiform papillae. That is what we need to understand here. The fourth type of papillae is filiform papillae. So we have valid papillae, foliate papillae, fungiform papillae, filiform papillae and the last one is papillae simplex. Now here I am not talking about papillae, it is papillae simplex. So it is not going to show a projection. So let's understand, let me draw a tongue for you. Now the tongue is triangular in shape, we all know that the posterior part of the tongue is going to have a V-shaped fold. That V-shaped boundary that we see on the tongue what it is called as it is called as sulcus terminalis so this sulcus terminalis basically distinguishes the back portion of the tongue and the front portion of the tongue so just ahead or anterior of sulcus terminalis you are going to get the first papillae the big one the larger one valate papillae now whenever i talk about valate papillae you need to understand first of all that these valate papillae they are largest papillae they are 1 to 2 millimeter in terms of diameter they are 8 to 12 in numbers that is what we need to understand largest 1 to 2 millimeter in diameter 8 to 12 in number and which nerves they are innervated by this is very important not given in NCRD but important for NEET they all are innervated by glossopharyngeal nerves so this should solve the problems with respect to valid papillae Next papillae that we have, it is called as foliate papillae. Now, as the name suggests, students, foliate. Foliate means what? Leaf-like. So, they have some leafy-like projections, you can say. But they appear like leaf. So, we have foliate papillae. So, this, this is the second and where it is present. When you look at the foliate papillae, they are present on the margins of the tongue. They are present on the side. They are present on the tip as well as they are present on the posterior end of the tongue. So, we need to understand that the foliate papillae is found on the lateral margin of the tongue there are not more in number first of all they are three to four they are vertically arranged mucospores okay so remember this foliate papillae are not more in number even they are less than you can say valid papillae now this foliate papillae is also present on the tip of the tongue that is called as anterior foliate papillae now this anterior foliate papillae it has to be innervated by some nerve so we need to understand it is innervated by facial nerve very important part because all the facial nerves basically you can say they some of them they are connected to the anterior foliate papillae 
and the back portion we have something called as posterior foliate papillae now this posterior foliate papillae they will be also connected with nerve no doubt but it will not be facial nerve just remember that is what it makes difference here posterior foliate papillae they are innervated they are innervated by the help of glossopharyngeal nerve so they are innervated by glossopharyngeal nerve just remember this so this is the second type of papillae the third type of papillae we all call it as fungi form papillae now as the name suggests fungi it is like fungus so i can say it is like a mushroom shaped you can say even they are mushroom like papillae you can say so this becomes are the third type of papillae that is called as fungi form papillae and whenever we talk about fungi form papillae we need to understand that they are mushroom like projections they are numerous they are more in numbers as compared to foliate and the valid papillae they are the round elevated one and these fungi form papillae they are present at the tip and at the margin of the tongue remember students valate papillae foliate papillae fungi form papillae they all have taste buds now this fungi form papillae they are innervated by facial nerve next papillae that comes into picture is the most important one they are present throughout the tongue they are large in numbers and they are concentrated the most in on the anterior side of sulcus terminalis that is called as filiform papillae when i use this word filiform papillae it means it just a kind of a fill filler it is going to fill the entire tongue that's why it is called as filiform papillae so the role of this filiform papillae is what it is to fill and cover more areas it is going to make the tongue rough just remember this the tongue rough will be provided because of the filiform papillae and this filiform papillae helps in holding or grasping the things with the help of tongue in filiform papillae there are no taste buds very important to be taken care of no taste buds in filiform papillae even they are more in number maximum filiform papillae where they are present so we say they are present on the anterior side of sulcus terminalis okay so there is maximum number of filiform papillae present so remember filiform papillae is not having a taste buds so they are not innervated by any kind of nerves also and at the same time they are helping to provide the rough surface of the tongue the last one what we have is the papillae simplex now papillae simplex is not seen directly through naked eye you cannot see them first of all it can be seen only through the help of microscope why because it is not a papillae it's a simplex it is not having a projection so it is seen only under microscope and reason behind this is that there is it is not projected on the tongue so you cannot see them so these are the different types of papillae students with their nerves let's understand the different region of the tongue that is involved in basically determining the different types of taste so what we are going to do we draw this tongue we draw this back portion where we see the tonsils and the center part is so this area this is the tonsil which i am drawing and surrounding this we need to understand what are the various areas of the tongue so this part becomes the tonsil this is called as uvula and the tip of the tongue is responsible for a taste the lateral side of the tongue they are also responsible for the taste and the center middle but the posterior part of the tongue they are responsible for determining the different types of taste so the tip i give a color to it so that we can understand even the lateral sides we are giving some color so that it becomes very clear to understand which part of the tongue is responsible for which taste so students remember this the tip is responsible for sweet just behind the tip will be salty so the salt area and above that will be sour and in the center you are going to have all the bitter so these are the different taste areas of the tongue we need to understand what is the role of the tongue what is the function of the tongue very first part the tongue helps in speaking if your tongue is not able to move up and down you cannot speak second it helps in tasting the food so the food the taste is obtained because of the tongue 
third what we can say it helps in rolling of food when you are able to roll your food from one part of the mouth to the other part it is because of tongue next function i can say it helps in mixing of the food with the saliva so that the food becomes soft and bolus kind of stuff so it helps in the mixing of food with the saliva it helps in swallowing the food you cannot swallow the food unless and until your tongue touches the palate and pushes the food inside so swallowing of the food is also taking place because of the tongue now the tonsil is a kind of lymphoid tissue and if there is a swelling in the tonsil it is called as tonsillitis do you know that the chili or black pepper they don't have any taste they just stimulate the pain receptors so the taste of chili is not there it is just a burning sensation of the nerve so when your nerves are burning then only you are able to get that so there is no taste of the chili hope students you would have understood the concept of tongue in a very simple way if you have understood don't forget to give a like to the video and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe this is sunil sir saying goodbye thank you